If you let it mature enough, it all by itself can turn into alcohol. They just kind of produce its own form of water, yeast, and starch. So the ingredients you need, but it takes about 10 years before it matures. You guys use agave nectar in syrup, right? Mm -hmm. So the agave nectar is a natural sweetener, specially recommended for someone diabetic very low glycemic. You know, if you look at the glycemic index, sugar 95, maple syrup 84, the agave nectar is at 24. There's not the lower that is natural. But that's what takes 10 years to commence. So if you wait for the agave nectar, <laughs> then you harvest, not tequila ferments through that instead of sugar. That's something that's so unique. The only thing we're in the world, no sugar, no calories, no carbs. The part that we use, so not the least. Okay, see what hang is, guys? See the one that has like a little pineapple right there? <laughs> See the one that has a We actually call it La Pina. Those pineapples look like the size that pot. They're going to end up weighing about 120, 150 pounds. Mm. How many bottles do you think we get per plant? Three. Been here before? No. <laughs> you get about two bottles per plant. Okay, that's why nobody makes it. Commercial brands can't wait 10 years for two bottles. Plus, there's no way to keep up with the plant because blue agave only grows in Jalisco. These guys here can never make tequila. They've been here for 20 years. We don't have the right soil requirement. More for looks, okay? We don't we don't make tequila. Nobody makes tequila in Cosmo. This family has been here for 26 years selling tequila. They come from Amatitana, Jalisco, last name Rivesca. They've been making tequila since 1821. Very different. So a lot of commercial brands make them so fast. So the laws had to change. There's nobody to keep up with the plant. Today the law says, as long as they use 51% blue about making a Jalisco, they can still call it tequila. So what's that other 49% for number one sugar? Now you don't have to wait two years for the agave nectar. So just have a sugar to ferment, they can harvest in one year, chemicals for the process, acid, mix. It's a symbol. Okay, our big battle is to kill these plants for 10 years. You harvest, shave the leaves off, we have just what we call a pineapple. And this would be about actual size, what you guys see here, after you cut them in half. These pineapples, we're going to cut them in steam for about eight hours. The steam to get them nice and juicy. From there, we put them in these mills. Right here, we're going to spin these mills around time after time. Smashing the pineapple, extracting all the juice. Okay, everything's handmade. Okay, so most of it's still animals, uh, horses, donkeys, because they do a lot of the work. Okay, that's what they call art organic artisanal tequilas. So everything's artisanal, all handmade. From right here, this juice will go through two filters into a fermenting barrel for three weeks. In just three weeks of the ferment, we double it still, we have tequila blanco. Tequila blanco is good for making mixed drink. Then we have the ones that we ate, the is inside, and some infused ones that the is inside. So follow me this way, guys. Any questions so far? A lot of information in about five minutes. <laughs> Where are you from? Your English is great. I'm from originally from Acapulco. Okay. My parents got divorced when I was two. I'm the youngest out of four. So me and my dad from Acapulco to Jalisco. My mom to Colorado. Uh -huh. So from when I was two to about 14, you're there, you're here, you're there, you're here. Once I high school, I sit here. But I go back all the time. So. Uh, in Los Angeles, East LA. Uh -huh. There was, I remember his address. Uh, like 1612 Workman Avenue. So, guys, tequila blanco is what we did outside. Blanco is for making mixed drinks. It's not for shots. A lot of times, that's what we drink as shots. That's why we don't like tequila sometimes. We like drinking clear whiskey. We don't drink clear whiskey. We drink whiskey after the age for at least three years. Same with tequila. Okay. That and this. Almond, passion fruit, piña colada, guanabara, chocolate and coffee. It's a mixture. Okay. These are aged now inside of barrels made out of white oak. It's like a whiskey, bourbon, scotch, same barrel. 11 months, 7 years, 12 years, 18 years. Blanco, reposado, añejo, extrañejo, ultra extrañejo. These here, margarita, fancy margarita. Silver and gold, blanco reposado for Mexico. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start with the añejo. That's what we'll start drinking them straight here in Mexico, right? So we're gonna start. I'm gonna put you a small shot. Don't take it. Let me explain just how to take it. And I'll take her shot. Yeah. No more shots. But if you're not driving and you want a full shot, I'm gonna walk them, right? Just let me know, say full if you want one. 
Full shot? Yes, yes sir. Thank you. How about you? Normal or full? Yeah. Guys, look, we're gonna drink it like this, right? So there's a thousand ways to take shots. There's no right or wrong way. But you're gonna smell. After you smell, you're gonna hold your breath. As you're holding your breath, you're gonna take the whole shot. Once those all be down, you're gonna exhale through your mouth. A lot that we're gonna be tasting, barrel, and the agave nectar. Tequila, tequila in reality, when you make it the right way, should always be sweet. That pineapple, the main ingredient is the agave it. nectar. You let that agave nectar ferment, you have tequila. A lot of times when people drink out the next tequila, oh, it's sweet. It should be. It should always be sweet. Except commercial brands don't wait for the agave nectar. No, they harvest it one year. When the agave nectar takes 10 years to come in. Mm. They just add sugar to ferment it that way. So we're gonna try something very different, right? Salud, guys. Yeah. And this is no different. So <laughs> Oh, that's nothing. That is completely different. That's completely different. It's different than what I'm used to. Yeah. Right for the first time. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel that good. 100% yeah. blue agave tequila. Okay, very, like I said, the model says 100% agave. In Mexico, we have over 200 different agaves. It's like, well, which one? It's like saying 100% from a tree. Which one? When a model says 100% blue agave, mm. it's just that fine. But it takes a long time. Yes. Now we're going to try the 12, you guys. What's gonna happen from here to here? Smoother, nicer, better. The longer you keep aging them, the better they get. Now this is extra and yet. Now these two here, no more mixing, no more nothing. Okay, if we're making margaritas, palomas, anything, we're making one hell of a margarita. Get some more for shots, sipping, on sipping, the rocks. Yeah. Okay, this is extra añejo, this is the 12 year. What's the percent? They're alcohol, they're uh, 38%, 76 proof. 38%? 38% alcohol, and that's why we can't export them. To export a liquor, you have to be on food. That's what we need by the Man, these don't even smell like that thing. Waste of scotch, one day I bought that tequila. Guys, we're gonna drink this thing anyway, but we'll look for the difference, right? Everybody, salute. 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 Man, I don't even taste nothing. That is crazy. Yo, I don't even taste nothing with this. It's so smooth. This is scary. This is scary. <laughs> this damn. We only produce 300 bottles a year, so we don't get to try it. Okay, we go through five, six of these a day during our tasting. That'd be more than we produce, but it's even smoother, nicer, better. Out of the 1,500 brands, there's 16 of us. Okay, so very, 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 very simple. We need to your process. That's our best. And we do have big promotion on these three, but I'll go right at the end, right? So guys, now we're gonna try some of the, these ones. Now these are mixed drink in a bottle, all made with silver tequila. They're also lined up with the agave nectar. And look what pure agave nectar should look like. When we buy agave nectar, it's always like this. Yeah. It should look like this. Okay, and if you get something like this, this will take you a long way. Because it's, it's pure. Okay, a lot of times, if you try to use as much like you do the one at home, a tiny bit will take you a long way. And like I said, very, very low glycemic. Someone diabetic can have this whole thing and have a single reaction. Okay? So now we're gonna try piña colada, pineapple coconut. These are a little concentrated so you get more out of the bottle. One shot glass, which is two of these little cups, should make an eight ounce glass. So you can grab a normal kitchen, eight, eight to ten ounce glass, fill it up with ice. You can put a shot of this in there. The rest plus soda. And you wanna dilute it down. I like to add a little shot. One more shot of the kilo. Yes, okay, but you can just have it by itself. If you like it sweet, let's put soda or this. Okay, but you want to tone it down. You gotta give it the bubbly so it'll tone out of the sweet. It says piña colada, pineapple coconut. Thank you. And guys, everything we're having is actually natural fruit and everything. So if you're allergic to anything, let us know because it's all 100% natural fruit. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah. How's the pina colada, guys? It's good, it's good. good. Everything's good. I think this is gonna be my favorite. Oh, this is better. I like the better. Guys, salute. Salute. This is white chocolate, dark chocolate, coffee, tequila. We call this the Mexican Starbucks, right? <laughs> this is the Mexican Starbucks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.